Hi everyone, this is Kayla's Cooking Corner. My name is of course Kayla and today we're going to bake French macaroons. This is something I've always wanted to try and I figured especially because it's quarantine right now, what better time than to try it. So my goal with this YouTube channel is for me when I find different recipes online, whether it's baking recipes or food recipes, to just try and see what happens. They might be good ones, I might have some fails, but might as well just work through different recipes like Julia Child in a sense and learn from that and hopefully make some tasty dishes. So come on now, let's go. It's French macaroon time. The recipe that I found that I'm gonna to use to bake the French macaroons today is from Tasty. I don't know if you have ever been on the Tasty website before. It start, it's part of BuzzFeed, it started from BuzzFeed and then they made a whole channel about different recipes. And I found it of just kind of a, how to bake French macaroons 101. So I figured that would probably be the best bet to start off on how to make them. So the first part it said in the recipe is to make the egg whites. So we have three eggs here. I'm just gonna crack with real quick and I'm gonna use the tip that the chef and baker used in the video of how to really quickly uh, do the egg whites because I guess there's a nice technique of how to do it. So let me just crack these real quick here. One more to go. Of course, trying to make sure I don't get any shells in it either. That is disgusting. All right, so they're looking good. And then in this bowl, the three eggs. Now she was saying to use with your hands is just to simply take out the egg yolk like that, and then just drop it into a bowl. So that's what I'm doing, just taking it out like she said, and then just dropping it right into this bowl right here, which kind of gross and usually wouldn't think of that, but honestly that was super easy because now I have the liquid that I can use to make the egg whites. She was saying to have that sit for like 30 minutes. I guess it's better and it makes the marine part fluffier. So for right now, I'm just gonna put that right to the side and move on to the next step in this recipe, which is gonna be the dry ingredients. So let me get the bowl out here. All right, I got the dry ingredients. So now let's put it all together and then mix it all up. So it called for, one and three fourth cups of confectionery sugar. So I'm gonna do that first. Try to level it out here a little bit, there we go. So one and yep, three fourths. One fourth. Two. And the last one here for the confectionery sugar. There we go, so that one's all set. Now we have one cup of the almond flour. I bought this a while back, but I know they have so many other kinds of almond flour, so to each their own on that. All right, awesome. One cup right here. And then last, but definitely not least, half teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna pour that out real quick. Make it a huge mess. Ooh. And there we go. It would have helped if I got a spoon, but I'm gonna go get a spoon and then I'm just gonna mix this up real quick. When I was watching the video, she had a food processor, so if you have that, this will definitely make this step so much easier. I do not, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna try to sift and get all these uh, ingredients mixed in as best I can. Because when, the, when this is good, then the next process is gonna be like a lot easier, so it's good to definitely take the time to make sure that this is mixed really well. She was also showing in the video, and I'm gonna put in a link at the bottom of my video, so if you did wanna refer and watch that, you definitely could. 
she was also saying as a suggestion is if you have a sifter at the top you could sift this as well to make it smoother because mine hopefully won't come out too lumpy but she was saying if your almond flour isn't super thin and fine that it could come out a little bit lumpy so we'll uh we'll see what happens at the end but either way i'm excited i've wanted to make french macaroons for a long time now and i've just been putting it off all right this is looking pretty good to me all mixed together kind of looking like that might be hard to tell that far away but here it is so now that we have the dry ingredients mixed together, I'm going to be putting this to the side. We're going to go back to those three eggs for the egg whites that we had started at the beginning of this video. So now we're going to make the meringue, which is exciting. I'm going to add in right now a half teaspoon of salt. So let me just do that one second. And then I don't have an outlet over here, so I'm gonna have to go mix it on the side and come back and I'll show you a photo of that, how it looks as well. But in the video, she had suggested of using the whisk end for your egg beater, because it helps the meringue as well, like while you're mixing it. So that is what I'm gonna go do right now. And while you're mixing that, which again, I'm gonna show a video of as well, you're gonna also end up adding sugar into it. So we're gonna mix this part first, and then when it gets a little bit more meringue look, then we're gonna add the sugar, which is just a fourth cup. And then we're gonna mix all of that together for the wet ingredients part. I took the egg whites and a half teaspoon of salt, mix that together, and then I added the fourth cup of sugar, mix that. Then I did the half teaspoon of vanilla extract, mix that together, and then finally I'm adding the food coloring so that I can get a nice coral color look for these vanilla flavored French macaroons. So now that I finished the meringue, I'll show you right here, looking awesome. Now it's combining both the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Mixing both the wet and the dry ingredients together can take a little bit of time, not too, too long. But I'm at the point now that I'm almost done uh, combining both of them together. And I'm loving how this coral color is coming out. It's gonna be so pretty. And I'm gonna show a closer up photo of it, but there it is right there. So now the next part of this recipe is that we're gonna be laying out each French macaroon cookie and putting it on parchment paper, or if you have a silicone mat, you could place it on that as well because the French macaroons are gonna sit for I think about an hour before you actually start baking them so that they form nicely. All right, so now we're on this final part before the French macaroons sit for about 30 to 60 minutes, it says. I think I'm gonna do mine for almost an hour just to be safe. And if you're wondering if your French macaroon mix is mixed enough, she was showing me in the video this figure eight method, that if you have the batter and if you can make a nice little figure eight out of it, then your batter is good to go and that you have mixed it up enough. I'm doing now is the parchment paper right here. This will be what the French macaroon sit on. And she showed, which I'm gonna make in a second, and I'm gonna do it out of uh, just a plastic little bag here. I don't have like a fancy tool to do all of the French macaroon shapes, but I'm gonna use a good old plastic sandwich bag to do that. So let me just get a little batter in here right now just to test it out. You know, when it wants to go in. this little corner right here and it says on here to move quickly so that the little bit doesn't dry out on you but we're just putting a little dot in the four corners just so the parchment paper will sit down and not move come on so that's what I'm doing right 
right now, just a little dot in each corner. Plastic bag technique worked out so well. Zoom up of what I did. And now I'm just putting the plastic paper on. Which is great. Excellent. Now I can start doing is adding more of the batter into this plastic bag. More batter here. Let me start this one. So she was saying when you're in this process of making each French macaron cookie, that would be like, like one and a half inches wide. So we're gonna have to really eyeball that here to see. But I'm gonna try anyway. So once you have all of your cookies laid out, the first cookie sheet is gonna fit about 12 of them. It's saying the recipe will make 30 but we'll start off with the 12 and then if we have to have another cookie sheet, so be it. But after that, then we'll let them rest. So I have the macaroons on the table now. I cooked them for about 17 minutes and you can probably tell from showing the photo and I'll hold it up as well. They, uh, they really spread out a lot bigger than I would have wanted. But that's what's great about trying these recipes is it's really just trial and error. So next time when I make these, I'm not going to do as much batter as trying to eyeball it. And I ended up doing more than I wanted for each one. And then that's why it spread out so much like this and is not looking like the Insta picture worthy French macaroon. But what's great is that I think they're going to still taste just as good. And I'm doing for the filling is I ended up getting this for a berry jam a while ago when I went to Vermont before the whole COVID and quarantine happened. They have in the recipe that I was following uh, a recipe that you can do to make buttercream filling if you wanted to do that. That's usually a typical filling for French macaroons. But I thought because since this is a vanilla flavored macaroon that the four berry jam would complement really well with it. So there you have it. We went through the steps and now we have made a French macaroon successfully. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. It was fun to make this. If you want to make a comment in the comments of anything that you think I should try to make next, let me know. But thank you so much. Have a good day. And this was Kayla's Cooking Corner.